Hello my friends, welcome to another mini message. Today, uh, Saturday, we're going to be talking about Luke chapter 18, from 35 to 43, a blind man received his sight. As Jesus approached Jericho, a blind beggar was sitting beside the road. When he heard the noise of a crowd going past, he asked what was happening. They told him that Jesus the Nazarene was going by. So he began shouting, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Be quiet, the people yelled. The people in front of him yelled at him. But he only shouted louder, Son of David, have mercy on me. When Jesus heard him, he stopped in order that the man be brought to him. As the man came near, Jesus asked him, What do you want for me to do for you? Lord, he said, I want to see. And Jesus said, All right, receive your sight. Your faith has healed you. Instantly the man could see, and he followed Jesus, praising God. And all who saw it praised God too. Amen, amen. In my uh, Spanish, it says, you, your faith has saved you. Oh, okay. Or you the same, right? Or he says, yourself, uh, you, your faith has saved you, or you know, or has healed you, right? Mm -hmm. For God, it's the same, because we're, we're safe. Mm -hmm. And um, it is a little short part, but uh, it has a lot of meaning. And always when uh, these people, they were healed, any sickness that they have, they, because of the faith, right? Because it, these men... This didn't see, and he was hearing much noise. Who, who is, what happened? And somebody said, oh, Jesus is passing by. He knew. He knew who Jesus was. He had faith in Jesus. He recognized, son of David, you know? You know, have mercy on me, right? And that was God wants from you, to recognize who he is and come to him and ask for mercy because that's the mercy of God that he sent Jesus to us, the word of God, right? We need to come to our Bible, to the word of God, and God will give us mercy. Right? And, um, and he was, the, nobody wanted to uh, let him go, right? And, and he keep yelling, right? And, uh, and Jesus, uh, he asked him to, to bring him, right? Yeah, he, he, he was asking somebody to bring him to him, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And he said, what do you want me to do for you, right? And he mm -hmm. says, I wanna see, right? God's telling us, you and me, what do you want me to do for you? Mm -hmm. But we need to come to him, we need to recognize him who he is, right? And he will do what you ask, but you need to have faith. He says, your faith has saved you. Your faith has healed you. So we need to have faith in order for us to be healed, in order for us to be saved, to save our souls in the Lord Jesus Christ, right? And it's very beautiful when you read the whole Bible. Jesus healed people couldn't walk, people couldn't see. He resurrected people. You know, he cleaned up people from lepers, right? That's physical. But the most important thing that he shows us physically, so people can see in these times, and it's recorded here in his word, so we can see, because that's what he wants you to do to you and me, spiritually. You understand? Because we're doing spiritually, we're sinners. With his blood, he washes us, cleans us up. Right? We're lepers. Right? We cannot see like this man. Right? We are dead spiritually, and then we can be resurrected. We're dead spiritually. We're alive, walking, in this body, but spiritually we're dead. And he's resurrect us. He, we're bl uh, blind like this person, but not, we're, we can see, but spiritual but blind because we don't see through the truth, through the light, which is the word of God. So he wants us to make, make us see. He wants us to resurrect us, right? He wants us to clean us up with his precious blood. And he wants us to make us walk the right way, right? Because he's the way. You understand? What a beautiful, when you go, when you go deep in the word of God, you, God talks your spirit and he lives on you. You see that everything is spiritually, because this is a spiritual book. And God, as we know, he's a spirit. And he's looking for worshipers in the spirit and truth, you and me. Mm -hmm. You understand? It's not what we see. It's, we're faith, we have faith in things that we don't see. Our treasures, we don't put in this world here what we can see in the bank and everything. We put in our treasures in heaven. Right? Amen. So this is a little short, but powerful for me. <laughs> you want to say something? Yeah. Um, you know, there's a scripture in Matthew that says, don't babble on and on as the religious leaders do, because God already knows what you need before you ask him. And so it's so interesting when Jesus says, what do you want me to do for you? It was probably obvious that he wanted to see, but there's, a, you know, God is saying, I want relationship with you. Yes, sir. I want you to talk to me. I want you to tell me what your needs are. I already know what they are. Everybody knew what the main need was there. But it wasn't about that. It was about letting this man know, I see you, I hear you, I'm here for you, and I want to help you. I want to be with you. 
And so, of course, you know, he said, I want to see. And he didn't go on and on. Well, you know, I was really hoping it would be possible if maybe you might restore my ocular, you know, issues. No, was, I want to see. And yeah. Jesus was right there. Receive your sight. You know, mm -hmm. just simple. And so it's, it's just... We need to keep it simple. It doesn't need to be all weird and awkward and long and dragged out when we talk to God in prayer, that we can just go um, with our faith and say, you know, God, this is my need. You know, mm -hmm. I it, we don't need to have it worked out all the ways that it could be possible or not possible. Just tell him what it is. He mm -hmm. wants to hear from you. And, um, you know, we pray in Jesus' name and we wait for him to, to do it in his mm -hmm. way. So, yeah. yeah. That was it. Yeah. Come as you are. That's what God is telling us. Come as you are. He didn't re leave any religion that you have to do certain things to for God to forgive mm -hmm. you and everything. Mm -hmm. Come as you are, right? Come to Jesus like this man. Jesus is here in your Bible. Come and just ask. Mm -hmm. He knows what you need, like my wife said, but he wants to hear from you, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. He wants to see your faith, right? Amen. Thank God you. bless you.